Hello everyone, this is Taylor from Civil Engineering Academy and today we'll be going over a PE water resources engineering problem. So the problem states an industry is proposing to discharge its effluent into a nearby stream. Average design flow rates in the BOD5 of its wastewater in the stream are as follows shown in this table. The in-stream BOD5 standard for the area is 5 milligrams per liter. The minimum effluent BOD5 removal required to meet this standard is what? Enter your response in the blank. So to start off, we are going to be looking at the PE reference handbook version 2.0 at the time of this video. And this is section 6.7.1 mass conservation and continuity. So I just took a little screenshot of that section and provided it here. So we're going to use this continuity equation um, and specifically this one. So if we know that the mass is consistent throughout the system, we can use this equation right here um, to set one side equal to the other. So I'll show you what that means now. So we will have a stream and we'll say Q1C1 and that's going into the stream. Sorry, this is the wastewater stream, wastewater. And that's going into the stream. And so this effluent will be Q3C3. I did that kind of backwards. And then this will be Q2C2. So pretty much the wastewater is entering into the stream. This is the stream upstream of the mixing, and then this would be the downstream. So we'll pretty much just use this equation to set um, in equal to out. So that will be Q1C1 plus Q2C2 equals to Q3C3. And we also know that Q1 plus Q2 will equal Q3. So these will be kind of our governing equations for this problem. So let's list out all our variables. We'll do the wastewater first. Wastewater Q1 is equal to 10 million gallons per day. And C1 will actually be the effluent BOD5 from the wastewater treatment plant. So it won't be this 100 milligrams per liter because we're asking for the removal percent. So we want to find the effluent from the wastewater treatment plant. So just as a side note, we know that the influent to the wastewater treatment plant is that 100 milligrams per liter. So we want to find what's coming out of the treatment plant to accomplish this 5 milligrams per liter goal as the C3. So the upstream portion will be Q2 equal to 100 cubic feet per second and C2 equal to that 2 milligrams per liter. And then the downstream portion after the mixing of these two streams will be Q3 and C3, which will be that 5 milligram per liter goal after the mixing. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is convert one of these two streams so that they're in the same units. I'm just going to convert the cubic feet per second, the million gallons per day, using the PE reference handbook section 1.2 conversion factors. And you can look up the um, conversion from cubic feet per second to million gallons per day. So that conversion is 0 0.6463178 mgd per cfs and we'll multiply that by our 100 cfs cfs and then we'll get 64.6317 mgd for q2 okay and then our second step, we need to use this equation 
to find Q3, which is the total flow after the mixing. So Q3 equals Q1 plus Q2. And now that they're both in the same units, we can just plug them in. So we got 10 MGD plus this 64.6317. And that will give us a Q3 of 74.6317. Okay, and then our third step, we'll need to use this equation now. And we are looking for C1 because we want to find the effluent BOD5 of this wastewater treatment plant to determine that removal percentage. So we'll solve this equation for C1. Let's write that out. Q1C1 plus Q2C2 equals Q3C3. Subtract Q2C2 from both sides to get Q1C1 on one side equals Q3C3 minus Q2C2. Divide both sides by Q1. And we'll get to C1 on its own equals to Q3C3 minus Q2C2 over Q1. And then we'll just plug all of our values into here now that they're all in the same unit. So we got 74.6317 times this 5 milligrams per liter, our goal BOD5 concentration minus Q2, which was our 64.6317, and Q2 had a concentration of 2 milligrams per liter per liter, all over Q1, which was our 10 MGD. And you can just plug that into the calculator straight because the MGDs will cancel out on the top and bottom. And then we're left with an answer of 24.4 milligrams per liter BOD5 as our wastewater treatment plant effluent value. But we're not done yet because we need to find the percent removal of BOD5. So our last step is to find the percent removal. And that will be the starting influent, which is the 100 milligrams per liter, minus the effluent, which is 24.4 milligrams per liter, over the initial influent of 100 milligrams per liter times 100% and that will give us a whopping 75.6% BOD5 removal rate. And that is our answer.